interview with Jeremy Borash on uh, July's episode of Wrestling with Ruben. Here we are talking about commentary and the current wrestling climate. Enjoy. You know, the, one of the things that I love about about you on broadcast, you know, doing the, the commentary is it takes away from the cookie cutter sound of, you know, what, what professional wrestling seems to have come to, you know? Um, you know, everyone has like a really clean sound and you have a little bit more of a raspy sound and you seem to take it up a little bit low, you know, a little up, up a little bit more, you know, like, like a, yeah. like a, yeah. like kind of like Jim Ross, you know, like, like, um, little Jim Ross. Yeah. I, I, I would think that's more, uh, I think I've got definitely have more of an old school in, uh, influence. Um, so whatever, I say cookie cutters is a word that's used a lot. I don't know. I, whatever, um, whatever term is used to describe the announcers of today, uh, you know, I'm very happy they kind of just let me be me. And it's not very traditional sounding, I guess, from what's going on today. But, uh, you know, I grew up on Gordon Soli. So it, it's kind of one of those things. I think that influence is there. Or I would say maybe a lot of the guys out there now doing it maybe didn't have those influences growing up or maybe weren't exposed to that growing up. So, uh, yeah, I, I hope it's not just a, uh, time in a bottle type of thing and I'm squeaking and they're letting me out of it. I think it's just, uh, it's just one of those things where I'm, I'm just a little, maybe a little different or maybe a little old school or whatever it is. And, uh, you know, I just, I like hype. I'm, I'm, I'm all about the hype. I think wrestling should be exciting and, and announcers shouldn't be screaming at you necessarily, but, uh, you know, they, they definitely should not be monotone. And I think a lot of times you see that, especially like the backstage stuff now these days. It's very much, you know, it looked deer in the headlights looking at a camera. Hello. What are your thoughts? Yeah, you know, and it's just like, and they do that on purpose. It's not, you know, the announcers get a lot of crap about it, but they're producing them exactly that way. And I get it; it's because they are not the stars of the show, and they shouldn't be the stars of the show. And I a hundred percent get that. Uh, but you know, Mean Gene Okerlund had a lot of hype to him, and he he put more people over uh, on that interview set than anybody. So uh, I think it still could be done. It's just how it's done. So with, and I love I love Mackenzie Mitchell and what she does backstage. I think she's absolutely incredible. Uh, and probably one of the best backstage interviewers today. Um, but with you being on commentary now, what what took so long to get you there? Because there was a couple of years ago, I think it was when um, when Taz left, you were doing some color commentary with Mike Tanay, and it was some of the best commentary I'd heard in a while. Um, you know, what what took you so long to get to the the booth on a permanent mm, basis? I don't know. Um, I guess it was. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? It's really never been a priority. I've never really pushed for it. I've never really, you know, lobbied to get that job, I guess. I don't know if that would have made a difference in it or not. But uh, it's just never something I was really, you know, passionate about until, you know, I think that really started happening. And Mike Janae started kind of taking me under his rig. And, yeah, right around maybe 2010, 2011, I got the bug on it a little bit. So, uh, you know, this whole time I've always done voiceovers for our international TV or I've done play-by-play for Explosion and stuff. So, I was still doing it, just wasn't on the flagship show. And I guess when things changed and opportunities uh, arose, that was uh, they put me in. So again, it's it's uh, it's not something I look at as it's, it's part of one of eight or nine things I do here, just kind of on a regular basis. It's not really. If they said, "Hey, we're going to move you over here now," I'd be perfectly fine with that. I'm not hanging on to life uh, as I know it with that job or it's not my identity as I know it as a human being. So <laughs> it's kind of one of those things where if, if they, if they decide somebody else is great for it, I would have no problem. They keep me plenty busy here without it, you know? So, uh, yeah, but it is, it's fun. And it's, and I'm getting into it now more as, as we go on, you know, I'm going to getting into the intricacies of it a little more than, than I used to care for, you know, special thanks to Jeremy Borash for joining me on this episode of wrestling with Ruben more of wrestling with Ruben with Jeremy Borash on multimediamouth.com. There is a link in the description down below. Make sure to like this video and hit subscribe and support the show. See you guys next time.